How's it going everyone? Cut Tracks here. We're outside today and I want to tell you about some NATO watch straps and a couple different ways you can use them. Uh, some history on NATO watch straps. They're also known as G10 straps. They have a history that dates back to the 1970s. It was originally developed by the British Ministry of Defense for use by soldiers. It was a simple, effective design consisting of a single piece of nylon webbing with a series of metal buckles. So you can see here we have the nylon style with those metal buckles. Now this one has them fixed in place, but you can get some to let you slide them around if you want to. This is a different version made of leather, but it's constructed the same way. I just like how this looks on my watch, so I usually go with that one for the daily. The strap was designed to be durable and easy to use, quickly attached and removed from a watch if you had to. And the name G10 actually comes from a form that soldiers had to fill out to request one of the straps, known as a G1098 form. The design proved really popular with soldiers and eventually found its way to civilian markets, and today they're a choice for many people from watch enthusiasts around the world. They're prized for durability, versatility, and affordability. In addition to their practicality, they've also become a fashion statement with a wide range of colors and patterns available for any style. There's actually many luxury watch brands like Omega that came out with their own version of the straps. It adds a little bit of customization to their timepieces. So now let's start with the traditional method of wearing it. You'll take your longer part of the band, slide it in between the lugs here. Go ahead and just pull that back. You want it to be about halfway in between this bottom loop and over here we're going to tie it off later. And take the other end of the long piece, put it between those lugs, pull it down, take a slack out of it. Then take this long piece, put through loops there, and you're good to go. It's ready to go on the wrist. As you can see, you do get a double layer fabric on the bottom, whether it's this leather or the nylon. It's a little bit thinner with the nylon because the leather's thicker, but some people don't like having that, so the second method I'll show you will reduce it down just having one piece of fabric under there and won't stick up as much with your wrist. Okay, so now let's get this put on. It's just a tiny bit awkward to do this one-handed, but it's all right. So you're going to take your end part of the band here and just get it through this loop with the hook on it, just like you would for most other watch bands. Pull that tight, and then you'll take the end and go up through these loops. And now some people like to just leave it out like that. I'm sorry, like, let's leave it out just like that. Let it sit there, do its thing. Other people may tuck it in, give it a nice cleaner look. You can tuck it on the inside or outside, whatever works for you. But as you can see, it's all tucked in, all tight. Here's where you can see it sits up on the wrist a little bit higher. Uh, it's just a tiny bit more than what the nylon would be if it stood up. But some people aren't big fans of that. For those of you who might not want two layers of fabric, uh, this next version will be for you. So you have your watch slid on through the top part of the band, and normally you would slide that through there, but you don't want to do that for this method. So you're going to take this bottom piece of leather, fold it back so it's against the clip right there, and now you would just take the other end of the strap and put it through both of these. So in that way, when it's on your wrist, you just have one piece of leather and it makes it sit down a little bit lower. And you just tuck it in these loops like you would do with the other one to get it out of the way. So let me show you this on my wrist now so you can get an idea about the size. The easiest way is just to pick up on your first loop. Slide that through there. Come down, grab the bottom one that has your hook on it. Make sure your watch is in the right position on your wrist that you want it. And then go ahead and put through the hole in the watch band. And you just go ahead and, like the first step, take the remainder of the band and slide that through those little loops there. You can tuck in if you want to. But now you're good to go. 
it sits a lot lower on the wrist since you only have that one piece of fabric underneath it unlike two for the first one so people that don't want to have all that extra fabric under there want that low profile look uh, it's a better choice for you now there's a third method that is just a little bit different than this for those of you who may not want to have all this material on the side of your wrist it moves all this down here to the bottom like a more traditional watch band would have with the clasp being located down here so let me show you how to do that now it's very similar get this one off and we just want to go back to this step here with the watch on the very top part of the band but the bottom not hooked in. So for this, you just want to slide the watch down the top part of the band a little bit until you get that loop right in the middle of the back of it. And again, we're going to take it and we'll be putting the long end of the band through both of those. And it's hard to see from here, but what this does is moves all this material to the bottom of your wrist so it's not on the side of your arm and gets in the way. So let me show you this on my arm now as a demonstration. So just like the other one, grab the long part of the strap, bring it up, put it through the first loop. Grab then with the hook on it. Put it through there too. Get your watch where you want on your wrist. Lock that in. As you can see, instead of having it over here, it's all on the bottom, so you can just take it and slide the long end of the band in there. Tuck it in if you want, let it hang out. It's a little bit easier to let it hang out this way, because like a traditional watch, you just kind of wrap the end of it up around the side. You can do whatever you want, but then this way you have the low profile on the top, and everything's on the bottom, so it's, it's hitting the bottom of your wrist and not the side here. Some people don't like it because they say it gets in the way. But these are just a couple different methods I want to share with you how to tie NATO straps, and I hope you got something out of it. Stay tuned for the next video.